Hello, Global Space Program fans. I was asked yesterday in my live stream, Documenta, why do those new rocket engines suck so badly? And I uh, didn't know what he meant, the uh, the viewer. So I took some time today to investigate that. Now, right off, I must tell you that on the left is 90 and on the right is 1.0.2. Now, I, you can fairly straight off see that, uh, yeah, both rockets have a big difference. They are the same. They have a command capsule, a parachute, decoupler, the, the tank and the engine. And yeah, the, the same applies to this one. Although, yes, I know I have no heat shield, the Cobble will most likely die. Uh, <laughs> that aside, there were no heat shields in here, so that's why I went without them. So we can see, yes, atomic rockets suck. Well, not really, but we're gonna get to that. Let's first compare both of them. Can I just keep that one open, please? Thank you. I'm just gonna make some space here. We can compare them right off. The biggest change is, of course, the mass. The mass. The old one was 2.25 tons, and you want it to 3.0 tons. The maximum thrust is the same. The engine ISP, we can see that, has been slightly reduced in the atmosphere, is the same in vacuum. The other big change between both engines is that, well, on the left side, the old one uses liquid fuel and oxidizer, and not, not less of that. And on the right side, you see that there's only liquid fuel. And even the liquid fuel is used less per second than on the old engine. Now, how come that they suck so badly now if we compare them both straight off? Well, that is because uh, in Kerbal Space Program, naturally, you cannot just go there and tell the game, you know what, um, game, I just have a fuel tank and um, I want to swap the tank to something else. Well, I can, but if you don't, if you cannot, let's have a look here. Okay, let's take the oxidizer out. 2.6 oh gosh even even if we put down a uh, 909 terrier poodle engine the terrier is much more efficient 3.7 compared to the atomic 2.6 now where the atomic starts to shine again is once you have a little mod like this one here um, stock fuel change I think it's called I'm gonna post the link in the description. Um, if you change it to only liquid fuel, you get up to 4.6 thousand delta V, which is not, it is still bad. It is still bad compared with the old one. It is not as bad as before. And now if you compare the 4.6 with the liquid terrier poodle engine, which um, yeah, it doesn't work because we have to go back to that. So we have 3.7 compared with 4.6. So now the atomic engine starts to shine again because, well, we only have the correct amount of fuel in there. So that's the first thing you have to remember. Atomics use only one kind of fuel. So if you have old rockets that do provide you with both fuel, you carry around dead weight. Even if you leave the oxidizer home, you still have half a tank empty with yeah, you're missing something. It's empty. It's just terrible. Okay, um, that aside, well then, people might say, okay, uh, I'm just gonna use the Terrier. That's fair enough. For small ships, the Terrier might be just a thing to use. Unless, I mean, I still gonna use the Atomics <coughs> because I can swap out the fuel tank there. So, uh, compare them. Oh, we noticed something. The old Terrier had 4.2 thousand delta V. The new Terrier only gets 3.7, so that's about five, 600 delta V less. Wow, the Terrier has gone bad. Now, why is that? Let's take a look into the Terrier engine. Can I just give a look here? Oh my goodness, ah! Gonna be fast swapping around, then it works. So the Terrier, it has the same weight. The new Terrier engine, the 909 Terrier has 60 thrust. It is as thrustful as the atomic motor. Keep that in mind. 
The engine ISP in atmosphere has been changed from 300 to 85. I remember days when I could use the Terrier engine to launch something of, um, yeah, Kerbin or something of planets that had atmosphere. Well, good luck with that because the Terrier is terrible now. Um, the ISP in space has been greatly reduced as well from 345 down to 390. While the usage of fuel is pretty much the same. It's gone up a bit, maybe because of the 10 extra thrust there. But the gimbaling is now 4 degrees where it was before 0 0.5. So let's recap. The Terrier costs less, has more thrust than the old one, is less efficient, but still efficient enough on small spaceships to bring you where you want to be. You know, if I mean, if you don't have a mod to exchange, you, you really need to get a mod, or squad at least needs to get uh, into the game that you can exchange the fuel tank to only carry a certain type of fuel, which would be liquid fuel, especially for the atomics. That's so important. Okay, well then, I mean, atomics always sh were shining the brightest when they use the biggest fuel tanks. So we have here a big fuel tank. Of the same setup here. It's just to compare. I mean, by now you know what is going on with your atomics. You most likely have some oxidizer that you don't use. Um, okay, so the old one straight off the bat had 13,300 delta V. The new one, if you have the same ship reloaded into the new game, will come with, with a big surprise. Um, it's only three and a half thousand. You are pretty much better off using the tiny one and a terrier unit. <coughs> Again, if you pump out the oxidizer, you can not only double, but um, yeah, you can more than double your efficiency on that thing. Still terrible. Swap out the fuel tank to only liquid fuel. It gets up to 12,000, which is not that bad compared with the old one, 13,000. Yes, you're missing at 1,300. But that's only 1,300 for a big spaceship. And I guess the bigger the spaceship gets, the bigger your new spaceship gets, compared with the old spaceship, it will not really lag behind in its efficiency if you put atomics on there. Okay, so take this out, put on the old Terrier engine. You had 7,300, and if we do this same here, and remember that we need to swap out the fuel again, well, I mean, even the Terry on that big, big thing is less. While here it gets almost from 7.3 to almost 14, and it's roughly double the efficiency, du almost double the amount. And here we go from 6.5, not to 13, but to 12. So it's, I mean, it is really up to you. If you keep on just sending out tiny space probes, tiny space probes, mind you. Um, yeah, you can get away with only putting on the Terrier engine. No question asked, put on the Terrier if you like. If you need those extra 900 Delta V that the um, that the Atomic, oops, sorry, that the Atomic offers you, if you need them, well, put them on, but remember to get a mod that changes your fuel in there. And I bought, well, I installed that, <laughs> didn't buy that, I installed that mod because for airplanes it's even worse to fly around with fuel tanks. You take all the oxidizers out, but you fly around with fuel tanks, oversized, too heavy, and you only use half of the thing that's in there, which is liquid fuel for your engines. So that's why I get the mod in the first place, but now looking at the atomic engine, it is worthwhile. And remember, both Atomic and the 909 have the same thrust. One is not thrusting faster than the other, although that one is increasing the overall mass, which is why on the big ship it is more efficient to really use Atomics. Well, that concludes the why do Atomic rocket motors suck so badly, Doctor? Well, they don't. Please check out your fuel tank okay check out the fuel tank do you carry around that oxidizer 
do you have a fuel tank only half full with the fuel you want to burn? Well then yeah, they suck. <laughs> they suck bad. Fix your game, squad, please make us able to um, exchange the fuel in the stock game. Because we really need that. If we want to use the atomics, we need to be able to swap out the tanks. So that we can only put in liquid fuel. Okay, so if you fix that, everything will be fine. And um, I'll be using the atomics for my own gameplay. I'll be using that, but it has to be a, a ship big enough to really qualify. This one would start to qualify as an interplanetary probe. 900 Delta V is a lot. So we'll see. Anyways, that's it. Uh, see you in the live stream. Bye bye.